as we work on our Android Studio projects, we're going to repeatedly run into this capital R class, and I wanted to take a minute to describe exactly what that is. So if we open up an Android project here, and we open up the app folder, and then look at the folder called RES, or the resource folder, uh, we should begin by understanding that this capital R refers to this resource folder. So if we were to look at, um, let's look at this XML file, for example, uh, which is used on the onCreate, which is a method that's uh, run every time a new activity starts. Uh, we see that this, uh, this parameter inside this method call is r.layout.activity underscore main. Now, each of these uh, names following a period is a folder in the hierarchy. So r refers to this resource folder, and then layout refers to this folder. And then if we open up the layout folder, we see that there's an activity underscore main folder, which is uh, this activity underscore main. Uh, there's one other place uh, where we can find R, and that is going to be where we're looking to attach uh, some sort of a relationship between a variable that we have in our Java code and the corresponding uh, physical entity in the layout, for example, a button. Let's look at, for example, uh, this layout over here where we have a single button. And in this button, in the, uh, in the layout, we've, we've labeled this button with an ID of submit underscore B to show that it's a submit button. And if we wanted to refer to this button in our code, here's how we would do it. So let's look at main.java. So uh, we've created a private static button. And here, notice that the name is similar. It's B underscore submit, whereas in the layout, we had submit underscore B. And the reason that I've uh, made one submit underscore B and the other one B underscore is so we can uh, tell the difference between the Java, the Java button and the layout button. And if we wanted to uh, reference the layout button in our code, uh, here's how we would do it. So here, for example, I'm connecting the layout button uh, to the Java button. And notice that the uh, layout button once again uses this capital R. And it uses the ID, which is a static field inside of R. And then we put the name uh, from the layout that we have directly in here. And so this would be a, a way to reference the layout button. And by doing this casting once, we can connect the layout button to the Java button. And then we can do all our work on the on the Java side by just referencing this Java variable uh, over here. But notice that this R variable is going to be uh, used over and over again to identify all the assets that are located uh, on the screen or elsewhere in our layout.